Hi Poconerf team, Ace is up here bringing you a bounty tournament tip. All of these tips by the way are from Poconerf's Bounty Hunter course. And I've got a goodie for you, the limp. Although not used a lot, we know there's spots where limping can be a good option in a regular format MTT. But in a PKO, limping is a great strategy that you want to be using regularly. So let's see a situation now where you can add the limp to your repertoire giving you the chance to win more bounties, which is the key to really profitable PKO play. Please subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Let's see the limp in action. And so as I just mentioned, limping can be useful. I'd call a lot in this spot because by doing so, we then have the option to isolate raise the under three BB jammer on our left and opponents will therefore have to be wary of our limp. See, if we made it 2.2x here, say 1760, we couldn't then re-raise if the short stack jammed when the action got back to us if there were callers in between, as the short stack jam would just count as a call. So every Tom, Dick and Harry is gonna be in there going for that KO, knowing there's a better chance they close the action since the original opener can only call. And I wouldn't likely be isolating this specific hand, but I'll have hands in my range I want to. So limping is a good play here. It also invests a small amount whilst allowing us to gain vision over the table's actions behind. And we see the cutoff here rips in M6. What a wonderful spot this has now turned out to be with our covering stack. Both players have two start bounties in this $44 PKO, and we can see here in HRC this hand is going to make us $6 every time we click the call button. And just look at how wide we can go for it here. So entering the pot with a limp allows us to fold if there's heavy action only losing the minimum, have the perceived threat of an isolation re-raise if the tiny stack jams, increasing our chance of getting to play, and gave us the chance to play profitably we see here for multiple KOs all in preflop, closing the action since we had the relative position preflop. It's important to be a master tactician of the limp, so make sure you check out the limping tutorial in the Bounty Hunter course. It allows us to VPIP more hands in a more profitable manner. Of course, conversely, when we don't cover, since we know we'll be attacked frequently by deeper stacks, we may potentially also introduce a limping range to lose less in certain situations or gain leverage with a three bet. Psst. Knockout tournaments are the best value MTTs if you play them the right way. Be sure to check out Pokenerve's Bounty Hunter course and become the best player on your table. Thanks for watching.